Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at my latest build I did. This is a signal tracer. If you don't know what a signal tracer is, it's an audio amplifier that you use to probe around in a circuit, usually, usually like an amplifier or a receiver. Uh, you probe around with it uh, after injecting a signal. You, there's a component, uh, an adjunct to the signal tracer called the signal injector. And that's just an audio oscillator, puts an audio tone into the signal, and then you can probe around with this and listen to see if you can hear it. The idea being that the point at which the tone disappears is more than likely where you have a fault in your circuit. Um, this is based on a PCB from the Antique Wireless Association. They, they sell a circuit board to build a signal tracer. And you can mount it in a nice, nice small case with a little speaker. Uh, but I wanted to, I wanted something a little more robust. Um, I've had the speaker that's in here sitting around for, I don't know, 25 years, maybe longer. Uh, it's from Radio Shack. It's a five-inch full-range speaker, and I found that it just perfectly fit on the top cover of this plastic junction box from Home Depot. And if this looks familiar, it's probably because it's the same box I used to build my Variac. So I now have a companion to it, all matchy-matchy. We'll see. Maybe I'll build a whole bunch of test tools that all look like this. But for the meantime, I've got the two. So uh, if we look at the side here. We've got input jacks, audio input, common, RF input, uh, quarter inch jack for that's wired to the audio input as well, uh, volume gain knob and on off switch. And on the other side is a nine volt battery compartment. And what's nice is this just pops up. Come on. There we go. And I can just put a new battery in. Don't have to open the unit up. Uh, this battery compartment is the kind that they use on the back of electric guitars. Uh, usually electric basses that have uh, active, active pickups in them. So you don't have to take your bass apart to change your battery. So works rather well. So if we... Uh, Look at the switches here on the side. Um, this is the on-off switch. Uh, when this is off and this switch is down, the quarter-inch audio jack is wired directly to the speaker. So I can, that's it, it goes straight from here to the speaker. So if I put, um, you know, an audio signal in, I can just use this as, as you know, as a speaker. Uh, once it's on, uh, with this switch down, um, audio only will go in the audio input the audio input there uh, this is disconnected if I switch it up I could now feed an audio signal in just like I do there and it will go through the amplifier inside and be made louder so I've got my unity 962 UTG 962 here and it's set for let's set it for a three come on there we go uh we'll set it for four millivolts peak to peak and i'll put some probes on here Hear that and and as you can see, it's picking that up. So this is this is hardly turned up at all, and it's picking it up. I can go up higher, and of course, you know. Higher input signal will be louder.
you know, but it works, uh, you know, that works nicely. Uh, just to show the, the other jack on the side here, if I put a, if I put a quarter inch, quarter inch plug in and Alligator clips are a little small for this, but there you go. So if I turn this off and I switch this down, so right now we've got the two millivolt peak to peak signal going through the speaker, which you obviously can't hear. So let's make this five volts peak to peak. And that's the speaker being driven directly, not going through the amp the, in the signal tracer that's turned off. So I can use this as a simple extension speaker if I need. And that's really what a signal tracer does. It's just, it's an amplifier. It's not super special. Um, it's just a, you know, a pretty sensitive amplifier. So let's open it up. And let's take a look inside. Yeah. Using these junction boxes for projects is actually pretty nice. Uh, the only drawback with them is the plastic tends to be kind of thick. Uh, so mounting some of this stuff like jacks and some other things has, was a little bit of a challenge. Because most project enclosures don't have plastic that is quite as thick as this you can see it's it's pretty thick so if we look inside here's our loudspeaker realistic courtesy of Radio Shack and you can see it fits on there nicely and I've got a little piece of mesh uh, in front of it just to help keep you know dirt and stuff from getting uh, through there and onto the speaker if we look inside, here's our uh, battery housing. We've got volume sensitivity pot switches or jacks. And there in the back is the board from Antique Wireless Association. Uh, the board comes and is designed that you can mount the battery directly on it and a small speaker. So it's a nice, very compact uh, little, little build. But like I said, I wanted to use the bigger speaker. So I've just got the board mounted in the back of the case here. Uh, this at the bottom, sitting there, is a one pound lead ingot. And you might ask, why is there a pound of lead sitting in the box? And that's to provide a little bit of balance for the weight from the speaker that was in the front. Um, I found that the speaker in front, the box tended to be a tiny bit tippy, so block of lead there, just gives it some weight in the back, helps hold it on on the workbench better. Uh, the holes, obviously I drilled myself, you know, took about 10 minutes, uh, but overall, um, we've got some rubber feet on the bottom. Overall, I'm, I'm happy with how it came out. Um, wasn't complicated, it wasn't supposed to be. Um, you know, again, the idea of a signal tracer is it's, a, it's, it's pretty simple. If you look online for schematics for them, you'll see that you know, a lot of times they're just built around an IC audio amp or a little transistor amp. Um, but I like the fact that Antique Wireless Association had a PCB for one, so I didn't have to go and make my own. Uh, so the whole thing came together pretty, pretty nicely. We just, there we go. And it's back together. So that's it. Um, if you're looking, if you're looking to put a signal tracer together, if you need one, uh, I suggest you look up the Antique Wireless Association, uh, pick up a PC, PC board from them. Um, I think it was, I don't know, $10, $15, something like that, uh, which I thought was worth it. It's a nicely done board. 
they give you a bill of materials so you know what to go out and order and if you want to build it the way that they designed it it'll all fit on that one board nice and neatly uh, and you can even put it in a small plastic enclosure they give uh, they give the part number for the enclosure if you want but as I said I wanted something with a bigger speaker in it uh, and added a little bit more flexibility to it and this is it if you like this video hit the like button uh, if you like subscribing subscribe questions comments put them down below and i will see everyone soon all right take care